WA Premier Mark McGowan will be heading to China for a trade visit later this month. Let's go live to Crystal Wu in Perth. Crystal, media will be invited this time. Yes, Karen, unlike his Victorian counterpart, Daniel Andrews, media will be invited, but he says it's up to the Chinese authorities to ultimately decide. It's the Premier's first China visit in four years since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. It will be a five-day visit from April 17 um, to strengthen WA's relationship with China, its, its most important trading partner. During his visit, the Premier will hold talks with government and industry leaders on topics like energy, resources, technology, innovation as well as international education. Having a good trade relationship with China is important. I just think it's common sense. Look, um, you know, I know there was a lot of knocking of the China relationship by the last Liberal National Government and by, you know, they, they, they continue with this. Um, they continue to sort of, with this sort of commentary that is highly dangerous about, you know, war and all that sort of stuff. I just don't agree with any of that. I don't agree with any of that. The Premier has been quite transparent about this trip, first flagging his intentions to go to China in December last year. But during a press conference today, he was asked whether he had any concerns over China's growing military presence or its relationship with Russia. Here's what he had to say. You've got to understand there's certain things within my control. Um, I don't control any of those things. What I can control is the relationship and the strength of that between Western Australia and China and um, making sure that it's strong and productive and we have the capacity to engage and talk is important. WA accounted for Australia's 53% uh, of Australia's total trade in goods with China in the 2021-2022 financial year. China also accounted for 11% of WA's um, international education enrolments in 2022. Queensland Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk also announced her intention to visit China, but that will be likely in November this year. Karen, Crystal Wu, thanks for joining us live from Perth.